Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I am just going to quick, it's first thing in the morning, I'm going to make some fried potatoes using my home dried potatoes. These I put in my dehydrator, and I think I showed you this in my um, video of storing all the things that I stocked up on, and I bought that 50 pound bag of potatoes. I canned some, and I dried some. Um, look how beautifully dried these are. I soaked them overnight in slices and then I drained them, rinsed them, and then plopped them into um, boiling water for three minutes. You need to cook them for three minutes, but you know, blanch them before you um, dry them. And then I pulled them out um, and put them into ice, an ice bath to stop the cooking and then rinsed them and drained them, or drained them and rinsed them again. Try to get as much starch off it as you possibly can, but when you do that, it, they turn out absolutely beautiful. If you don't get enough of the starch out, they turn black, so you can't dry these raw. You actually do have to blanch them, but they are gorgeous, and I wanna tell you that I actually had somebody make a comment accusing me of filling my jar with potato chips instead of the dehydrated potatoes. Why I would do something like that, I don't know. Uh, but definitely not potato chips. You'd be sadly mistaken if you took a bite of this um, unsalted, plain, thick potato. Anywho, I have here some boiling water from my kettle. Um, everybody has questions about how you use dried potatoes. You know, they're lighter to store. You can actually store quite a few of them in a jar. So... This is a nice way to preserve your potatoes. It already smells potatoey. I'm just gonna go ahead and rehydrate these. And then I'm gonna fry mine in a pan for breakfast. When you're frying them for breakfast, you can do plain potatoes, you can add onions, you can add peppers, you could add meat, you could add corned beef and turn it into a hash. Um, you can do whatever you want with these potatoes. They are just regular potatoes. How do you use your regular potatoes? This is the most important part is rehydrating it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil in my pan and heat my pan up while these are rehydrating. I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit here for a good 10 minutes before I fry them. Make sure you drain your potatoes as best you can if you're gonna fry them. But at this point, I'm gonna fry these, but you can make a cheese sauce. You can butter a baking dish, put your potatoes down, make a cheese sauce to go over it, or make a cream sauce, or you can, instead of just soaking them, you can boil them until they're done, drain them, and then you can add fresh peas, um, dried peas, frozen peas, and you can add a little butter and cream and make the creamed potato and peas. Um, make au grats, you can make scallop potatoes, whatever you like. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. Since these are already kind of par cooked and then rehydrated. They're they're halfway done already. So they just need to sear up and then they'll cook the rest of the way. I swear my five pound chihuahua, she waits until I'm making videos to do that. She has allergies. <laughs> She's so loud. Come on. I've just got a little bit of oil in the pan. You can use shortening, you can use bacon grease, which is my go-to. All right, and they are done. I'm just gonna season them. I already put pepper on them. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. You can use seasoned salt if you like. And I like onion powder on mine. Kind of toast up in the pan if you do it at the last minute. Yum. Okay, and there they are. The fried potatoes and eggs. Both in my little iron skillet there. 
that's how easy it is to rehydrate and use these potatoes any old way you want, just like you would use regular potatoes. The next time I use these for og rocks or scalloped, I will definitely show you how I, I'll bring you along for that. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.